I guess we're not ready for the reviews yet. Let's get another question. <laughs> well, I, you could have asked for a review, but now you've you've teased a question, so you can't take it back. All right. We can't ask this one. Hold on. Let's go to this one. <laughs> Wait, you're skipping now? Was it for quality or content? It's... Yeah. <laughs> a bit All right, skip it. Should I ask it? I don't know. I don't, I don't well, now, what... Oh. How do you keep an idiot in suspense? I'll tell you tomorrow. You know, I once heard Andrew Dice Clay and Opie and Anthony, like in 2000, he, he was I, just rattling off jokes. And he goes, how do you keep an idiot in suspense? Say nothing. And like, no, you say nothing. You don't say the answer isn't say nothing. You <laughs> literally say nothing. Notes. <laughs> he was reading off his notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll try this one. We'll see how this goes. This is sent to corny drive through at gmail.com from Bruce Walmer in Springfield, Massachusetts. Hello, Jim and Brian. Thank you for the outstanding podcast. The walk that da- the walks, excuse me, the walks down memory lane and keeping the spirit of real professional wrestling alive. My question is, was it common knowledge that Hillbilly Jim was gay or was it hush hush? <laughs> I met him at an AVN <laughs> show in Las Vegas. He was standing behind the Falcon Films booth, the number one production company of high quality gay porn. I asked him, why don't you wrestle anymore? And he pointed to the owner of Falcon Films and says, he doesn't want me wrestling. Any comment or knowledge of this fact? <laughs> oh my let, me just, God. let me just add, Hillbilly Jim, a tremendously nice guy. Yes, Hillbilly Jim is one of the nicest and funniest and brightest and smartest guys. And apparently, he's also one of the premier ribbers in the fucking industry. I guarantee you, Hillbilly Jim is there to do the fucking Coliseum home video or whatever the fuck he was doing or whatever he's done with the uh, uh, goddamn, the vi- or just visiting the, the a- if it was AVN. Uh, he's just visiting or whatever, and he's standing there probably trying to figure out which porn star he's going to go look at next. And this guy fucking wanders up and asks him that question. He's well, I'm working for him now. And he believed it. And to this day has <laughs> carried it with him to the point where he had to fucking ask me. Holy fuck. I, I, Hillbilly Jim, if he asked him, he would say he's not gay. He's just friendly. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's ridiculous. <laughs> what, what are you saying is ridiculous? The fact that, are you saying for... I'm saying the fact that Hillbilly Jim was probably there to look at fucking porn stars like everybody else unless he was doing some kind of home video thing at some adjoining non-pornography fucking video convention. And he's just standing there and this guy asked him a fucking question and he's fucking with the guy and the guy believed it. And to this day, thinks Hillbilly Jim not only is gay, which he's not, but was a gay gay porn star, which he was not. It's fucking ridiculous. That's the, I can, but I can see Hillbilly Jim fucking doing that because he is quick and he will give you a fucking answer with a straight face and make you believe anything. But, but goddamn, that that's stretching it. I know you know the creator of AVN, but I've never personally been to an adult video news convention. Do they typically have wrestlers there? I mean. Will Vivid Video all of a sudden be like, we have Greg Valentine here today. <laughs> Come by the well, booth and meet Greg Valentine. Well, no. What no? What I'm saying is, is that sometimes these adult video conventions are take place in in Las Vegas along with or in conjunction with or at the same time of like the Consumer Electronics Show and fucking other mainstream video conventions or different things so it's not and obviously if if there's wrestlers in the same vicinity as there's porn stars there's going to be some crossover just people walking around fucking looking so i don't necessarily think that hillbilly jim was booked at the porn convention i can believe he was there and i am dumbfounded that this guy believed the fucking bullshit rib answer that hillbilly jim gave him to his question that he was working for as he points to the fucking gay video booth that he was working for them now and to i just saw jim two or three years ago and and he had at that point not added gay porn star to his resume you ever seen on showtime i don't know if they still have them for a while they were airing late night be going past the different movie channels like what is this 
it was the AVN award show. And they had like even like a red carpet. For all the oh, I know. Stars. And it's great because they have like, like best three way and best anal sex scene and, you know, lifetime anal achievement award or whatever. And the golden throat. I don't know. It's, it's, it's fucking fantastic. It's, it's fascinating is what it is. I'm so happy. I want to, th- I can't believe this industry has taken me in to know that I've won best cock. It's just yeah. the greatest achievement of my life. Thank you all. I look forward to fucking more next week. But hey, you know what? It, it, <laughs> porn stars are the only honest and legitimate people where, when it comes to matters of the flesh. We d- <laughs> like to do what we like to do, and we don't care who we do it with as long as they want to do it with us. That's what that's their motto. Matters Everybody should be like flesh. that. There'd, there'd be more happiness. <laughs> there'd be more flesh. <laughs> yes. There would be more happiness. Is it, and like, oh, have you met my wife? She's also my co-star. Oh, have you met my husband? He's also my co-star. Oh, we'd like to co-star with you. Well, there you go. No bitter, hard feelings. You know, for a second, I, I was like, what the hell? What spot is he transitioning to? What sponsor is he going to dare go to from this? Luckily, you didn't. Let's get another question. Well, you know, I will say that if, you, oh, no. if you're into meat. <laughs> no, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. All right, give me another question. One more question, and then we'll go on to meat and the reviews and everything else. 